Good day, everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum, and today we'll be looking at the arm. We'll be discussing the arm, and the arm is the region of the upper limb or the part of the upper limb that is found between the shoulder and the elbow. The shoulder and the elbow. So this is the arm. We'll be looking at the muscles, the nerves, and the vessels that are found in the arm. Also, the arm is divided into two compartments. We have the anterior compartment and the posterior compartment. The anterior compartment contains about three muscles, while the posterior compartment contains only one muscle. So we'll be looking at these muscles one after the other. Let's see the anterior compartment of the arm first. This is the anterior compartment of the arm. This is the anterior compartment of the arm. And the three muscles that are found in the anterior compartment of the arm is the coracobrachialis muscle, the bicep brachii, which has two heads and the brachialis muscle. So let's see the coracle brachialis muscle first. So the coracle brachialis muscle, this is the coracle brachialis muscle. You can see it is a small muscle. It is a small muscle. It originates from the coracoid process of the scapula. You can see where it originates from. The coracoid process of the scapula and it runs downward to insert at the anterior shaft of the humerus. So this is the where it inserts anterior shaft of the humerus. The elevation of this muscle, you can see this tiny nerve here, which is known as the musculocutaneous nerve. It pierces the coracoid brachialis. This is, it is coming from the brachial plexus to pierce the coracoid brachialis and elevate the coracoid brachialis muscle. The action of this muscle is that it helps in the adduction of the arm. So we'll be looking at the second muscle now. So we'll be looking at the second muscle now, which is the bicep brachii muscle. So this is the bicep brachii muscle. This muscle is the bicep brachii muscle. So you can see the two heads of the bicep brachii. The medial one is the short head, while the lateral one is the long head of the bicep brachii. So the medial head of the bicep brachii originates from the coracoid process of the scapula. You can see that it has the same origin with the coracoid brachialis muscle. So this is where it originates. And the long head originates from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. And as it is coming from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, it passes through the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. So you can see the tendon of the long hair passing through the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. It passes through it and at the uh, shaft of the humerus, these two muscles join together. These two muscles, the bedding of these two muscles join together and together they move to the radial to the velocity of the radius to insert there. So together they insert at the radial to the velocity of the radius. Then the next supply to this muscle, the bicep brachii, is the musculocutaneous nerve. So you can see the musculocutaneous nerve coming from the coracobrachialis muscle to also uh, elevate the bicep brachii. So you can see how it pierces the bicep brachii. This is it. 
You can see how it pierces the bicep brachii to elevate the bicep brachii. So the function or the action of the bicep brachii is that it flexes the forearm. It is the flexor of the forearm and also a weak flexor of the arm. So we'll be looking at the third muscle, which is the brachialis muscle. So this muscle here is the brachialis muscle. You can see this muscle here is the brachialis muscle and it originates from the shaft of the humerus, the anterior shaft of the humerus. This is where it originates from, the anterior shaft of the humerus and it inserts at the ulnar tuberosity. It inserts at the ulnar tuberosity or the Coronary tobacco of the owner. That's where it inserts. Then the nerve supply to this muscle, you can see the same musculocutaneous nerve leaving the bicep brachii to run on the superficial part of the uh, brachialis muscle. So it runs superficially. You can see how it leaves the bicep brachii continue on the brachialis muscle and it runs superficially downward to the forearm. Then the brachialis muscle also helps in the flexing of the elbow. It helps in the flexing of the elbow and also a weak flexor of the arm. Then the these three muscles that we've seen here are the muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm. So we will be looking at the muscles of the posterior compartment of the arm, which is the tricep brachii. So the bicep brachii, this is the bicep brachii. You can see this mass of muscle at the posterior compartment is the bicep brachii. And this muscle has three heads. The long head, the medial, and the lateral head. So, we'll be looking at the origin of these three heads, and I'll also show us these three heads. So, this is the long head of the tricep brachial muscle. The long head originates from the infrarenoid tobacco of the scapula. And it runs downward across the posterior part of the humerus. So this is the lateral head of the tricep brachii. It originates from the posterior. You can see the muscle. It originates from the posterior surface of the humerus above the radial groove. Then this is the medial head. This muscle here is the medial head. It originates from the posterior surface of the humerus below the radial groove. Now, these three muscles combine together. You can see how they combine together to insert at the electronic faces of the ulna. So you can see where they insert at the electronic faces and. The function of this muscle is that it they extend the elbow joint. So they help to extend the elbow joint here. And the nerve to this muscle is the radial nerve. So this is the radial nerve. This is the radial nerve. So they extend the radial nerve is the nerve that supplies this muscle. So the blood supply to the arm is the brachial artery and the brachial vein. So this is the brachial artery. This is the brachial artery. Why this is the brachial vein? This is the brachial vein. You can see that the 
breakout then accompanies the breakout action. So we'll be looking at the branches of the breakout action. The breakout action has the deep breakout action. You can see this branch that moves to the posterior compartment of the arm. This is the profunda brachii artery. So this artery here is the deep brachial artery. Or the profunda brachii artery. It is a one of the branch of the brachial artery. So this is it here. Then this is the muscular branch of the brachial artery. This. Then other branches are the ulnar collateral branch. This and this. The superior ulnar collateral branch, the inferior ulnar collateral branch are the branches of the brachial artery. This is the inferior and the, the superior ulnar collateral branch. So the nerve that runs across the arm is the median nerve. This is the median nerve. You can see it moves from the brachial plexus down. Giving the branch, it rolls downward, crossing the arm. Then we have the ulnar nerve. This is the ulnar nerve. It is also a nerve that crosses the arm. Then I showed off the musculocutaneous nerve. I showed off the musculocutaneous nerve. This one supply or innervate the muscles of the anterior compartment. Then in the posterior compartment we have the radial nerve which I showed us. So we've come to the end of this teaching. Please try as much as possible to subscribe to my YouTube channel Learn with Chiefs and Great. Like this video, share this video to your friends and comment on this video. Thank you very much.